So now we're going to have a look at homogeneous differential equations. And before you watch this, you should have watched um, my video on uh, separable uh, differential equations, uh, both because we're going to need that technique um, on top of this one, and uh, it also has an uh, introduction to differential equations as a whole. Okay, So um, this is the second one of our methods for solving first order differential equations in IBHL. So, uh, firstly, what form of differential equations can use this technique? Uh, well, it's ones in this form here, um, where I have some function of f, uh, x and y over another function of x and y. Uh, but they also must have uh, the same uh, degree of x and y. Okay, in the sense that uh, if you added up the uh, powers of x and y in each term, they would be the same. Um, for example, this one here, I have a power of 2, a power of 2, and I have 1 plus 1 on this term on the bottom, so that would be a power of 2 as well. Okay, um, if I had a y cubed here, then all of a sudden it wouldn't be in the correct form. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so every term, if you added up the powers of x and y, uh, they would be the same, every term on the top and bottom. Okay, so the method you're going to use um, to solve these uh, is that you are going to take that combined power, um, n, and you're going to go through term by term, top and bottom, and divide every term by x to the power of n. Okay, and this does something uh, interesting in that every term will now be uh, something times y over x or something times y over x squared or cubed. Um, so it will now essentially be a function of y over x. Um, and you're going to use this substitution here, y equals vx, or in other words, v equals y over x. Um, and if we consider that v, uh, or v, v is a function of x, then if I wanted to differentiate y equals vx, then I'd have to use the product rule, okay, because I've got a function of x times x. Okay, so that's why when I do dy by dx, I have, uh, well, v times 1, the derivative of x, and uh, then x times dv by dx, okay? Um, so I'll use that substitution for the left-hand side and then uh, substitute my y over x's for v on the right-hand side. And another interesting result of this is that this equation will now be a separable differential equation. Okay, so hopefully we know how to solve those by now. Okay, so we get through right to the end, and we should get um, a function with v, and we can substitute back and get y equals some function of x uh, at the end. Okay, so a couple of examples quickly. Uh, so firstly, this one here, uh, dy by dx equals 3x squared plus y squared over xy, and as we said, uh, these all these terms have a degree, a combined degree of 2. Okay, so first step will be dividing by x to the power of 2. Every single term. Okay, that will become 3. This will become y over x all squared. This will become y over x. Okay, we're going to use this substitution. v equals y over x. And as we said, dy by dx equals v plus x times dv by dx. Okay, and that's what we're now going to have on the left-hand side. Okay, and then I'm going to substitute the y of uh, x's for v. And now I'm going to try and solve 
uh, with my separable equations method. Okay, uh, let's just uh, multiply both sides by v to sort of get rid of that fraction on the right. And also because this now cancels out really nicely and uh, that, that often happens. Okay, so now we start to see what should be a separable equation. Okay, v dv equals uh, 3 over x dx. And of course we now integrate both sides. v squared over 2 equals uh, 3 ln of absolute value of x uh, plus c. Okay, I only need uh, plus c on one side. And if we just go over here, I'm going to substitute back now uh, so that uh, v equals y over x. I'm going to multiply by 2. And when I do that, you could say that I now have 2c, but 2c is just is still just a constant. And uh, therefore, I don't really need to write 2c. I can just still write c. Um, I'm then going to square root. Okay, and then multiply by x. And I have solved my differential equation. Okay, I now have my y as a function of x, and that is how solutions of differential equations are written. Okay, and so one more. Uh, this one here. Uh, again, it's a degree of 2, uh, although it might not look correct uh, just to start with. But if I divide everything by x squared, well, then I suddenly have my uh, algebraic fraction. And again, every term has a combined power of x and y of 2. Um, it's not always 2, just to be clear. Um, so uh, first step is divide by x to the power of n, so divide by x squared. Okay, this gives me y over x squared here, plus y over, uh, 3 times y over x, plus 2 over just 1 this time. Um, I'm going to do my substitution, uh, v equals y over x, and uh, our product rule result for the derivative as well. As always, that left hand side is always going to be the same. And in fact, I'm obviously not going to write over 1 anymore. That's not necessary. Um, then we're going to subtract, uh, subtract v from both sides in an attempt to try and gather all the v's on one side, x's on the other side. And, well, all I can do for a second is this, which doesn't look particularly hopeful. Um, if you, and then obviously we'd need to integrate. Um, so the uh, concerning thing is the left-hand side. And... But you do have lots of um, similar looking uh, functions in the formula booklet for uh, integration. And the one I'm looking at is possibly this one here. Okay, that 1 over a squared plus x squared equals 1 over a uh, arctan of x over a plus c. Uh, because if I factor out, we'll just call this uh, v plus 1 squared. Well, that would be v squared plus 2v plus 1. So I need to add another 1 there. And of course, 1 is the same as 1 squared. And now um, I essentially have this thing here, except I have a v plus 1 all squared instead but that shouldn't be an issue. Um, so, well, this right-hand side is 
nice and simple. Uh, but here we're going to have, uh, so a, our a is 1, so that's helpful. We just have 1 over 1. Uh, arc 10 of, well, v plus 1 over 1. And um, if we have, when we have this bracket here, we should be looking at um, dividing by some constant, but because we only have 1 v, then it's, all of this will be divided by 1, so nothing to worry about. Okay, and then it's just a case of uh, trying to rearrange this as well as possible. Um, obviously these uh, 1 over 1s can go. Now at this stage maybe I can find c as well, okay, because just like in regular integration problems, if you're given something like this, okay, so x equals 1, y equals minus 1, that is what's going to help you find c. Okay, so in fact I do need to change this to y over x before I do that, but otherwise I'm ready to now find c. Okay, so what did we say? When y was minus 1, x is 1. So inverse tan of minus 1 over 1 plus 1 equals ln of 1 plus c. Uh, inverse tan of 0 is 0, uh, ln of 1 is 0. So c is 0. Okay, so that is helpful. I can just remove that now. Okay, and now it's just a case of rearranging this. Uh, y over x plus 1 equals uh, tan of ln of x. Okay, so we did tan of both sides. Um, and then go subtract 1 and multiply everything by x. And I finally have my solution. Uh, y is a function of x. Okay, and that is uh, homogeneous equations.